Stay. Stay. No. Stay. 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 You good? All right. So this is an American alligator. And these are the animals that more stories are made up about, probably almost, almost as many as snakes. You hear all sorts of silly things about alligators, that they attack children, and that you, know, you, can't, you can't be in the water with them, or that they're eating people in Florida. Most of it is a bunch of garbage. In the 100 years we have records for, right. only 18 people have been killed by an American alligator. To give you some kind of sense of what that means, in the same amount of time, about 27 people have been killed by vending machines. So you're in more danger buying a Pepsi. All right. Of the people who were killed, the 18 people who were killed, none of them were children. All 18, the bodies were found. So this is not eating behavior. Why kill something if you're not gonna eat it? The only reason you kill something if you're not gonna eat it is if it's bothering you or there's a misunderstanding. So all 18 bodies were found, which means those, these people did something or were someplace that the two species got in the way of one another, the alligator and the human. And in those 18 instances, the human lost. Usually when people and alligators meet, the alligator loses. It loses habitat to golf courses. It loses its life to, to guns or to boats. It is caught on fishing lines. Um, there's a show on right now on TV where they actually go and they hunt these gators with these gigantic fish hooks, which is extremely cruel, um, but because it's a reptile, nobody says anything. I mean, imagine hunting dogs with fish hooks. You know, imagine, we're gonna, catch, we're gonna catch the stray dogs in town, we got this big fish hook, we'll put a piece of meat on there, when the dog comes, we'll just pull it, and it'll get caught in the dog's throat, and we'll get rid of all the dogs. That show would be off, the people would be dynamited. I mean, <laughs> right. but it happens to alligators, and people are like, oh, that's a great show. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why do, you, why do you think that, that the society looks at it that way? Well, when you look at a reptile's face, right. you don't see emotion. You don't see fear. You don't see anxiety. You don't see happiness. All you see is the same blank expression you would see whenever you look at it. So you can't read it. When you look at a dog, dog's happy, ears are up. Dog's scared, ears are down. Dog's happy, wet tags, wet tail, you know. Dog's really upset, shows its teeth, you know. <laughs> you get an idea of what the dog is thinking. The dog is signaling you by its face. Reptiles don't work that way. You can't read them that way. So it's much, much, much more subtle. And if you're not skilled in learning the subtleties, you're gonna have a problem, all right? I never have a problem reading him. He tells me exactly what he's thinking all the time, like right now. What's he thinking? He's what thinking he I'm think? good. This is no problem. How do I know that? Because he's sitting in my lap and he's not doing anything. His mouth is not taped. He's not bound in any way. I'm not even holding him. I have one hand over here, and my other hand is just supporting his head. So if this was a problem, he'd be wiggling, he'd be struggling. <clears throat> if he was upset, he'd be, he'd be making loud, he'd be making loud uh, breathing noises, all right? He might growl. I mean, alligators can make all sorts of different noises. So if you understand the communication system of the animal, then yes, you'll get that, oh, this, is, this animal is, is upset, or this animal is calm, or whatever. But humans, it's not a mammal, so we don't get it. We don't get it quickly. Yeah. Well, and how, how closely do you work with him? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're with him every day. This is the closest this is pretty I have, close, yeah. <laughs> this is the closest <laughs> I ever been to, a, to an alligator ever before. Um, well, I mean, he only works with me. I, we have 20 alligators now. Mm -hmm. He's the biggest that we have. Um, he only works with me. He doesn't allow other people to work with him. All right, my other instructors, they go in his enclosure and he's not happy about it. He makes it very clear to them that he's not happy about it by hissing at them and, and kind of you know, holding his place and not moving. And so he really doesn't want to be bothered with other people, but he puts up with me. All right, so, so it's pretty easy to work with him. But again, you know, when food is around, you don't want your hands anywhere close to him. I can touch his face without any trouble. You see, he keeps his mouth closed. He doesn't open his mouth at all. His eyes go down inside his head, which is a defense. Stay here, stay. And he doesn't get upset. In fact, he likes having his head rubbed. No, 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 no. He likes having his head rubbed, except he wants to get a walk. 
And how long how long did, did it really take you to really train him to behave that way? I mean, he is a it is a wild animal. What's your favorite sport? Soccer. Okay. I'm I'm terrible on soccer. Mm -hmm. Okay. You could teach me how to play soccer for the next 10 years and I'd still suck. Okay? Right. All right. But I do read really well, okay? And I play chess very well, all right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how good you are in chess, but let's just say for arguments, you suck at chess. Right. Okay. You teaching me soccer, me teaching you chess, you're both wasting our times. Exactly. Okay? You're not skilled in one, I'm not skilled in the other. So it's the same with animals. If you get an animal that has a predisposition to aggression or a predisposition to being very nervous, you're going to have a problem with that animal. You're going to have a problem no matter what you do. If you have an animal that has a predisposition to being calm and to being a little bit reserved, then you can go ahead and you can put your hands in and you can make an, you can make an arrangement with the animal, which is really what you're doing. You're building a trust and making an arrangement that all you need to do is not get upset and you're going to live and things will be fine. It's the same with, with you and I. You, can, you can't teach me to play soccer well because I'm not predisposed to it. Right. So we, you, it's not going to work. So he was predisposed to being calm. And because he was, I was able very quickly to come in and, and put my hands on him and not have to worry. I have a couple of other animals that, that aren't that good, you know, and they are more tricky. Mm -hmm. All right. But, you know, it's like, it's like in any individual. Of course. Yeah, any individual. Stay, 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 stay. Stay, stay, stay. That, that's just, it's, it's amazing. I mean, like I said, it's the closest I've ever been. And well, if I you mean, put your hand on the back, run your hand down his back, all right? These are scoots. A scoot is a, um, a flat piece of bone with a ridge running up the center. So this, this, this square here is one scoot, mm -hmm. one piece of bone, and then it has blood running through it. Okay, so the bone has ar arteries running through it and veins running through it and then it's covered by a black scale. So what is happening here is when he turns sail on to the sun and the sun hits him here, all these scoots warm up very, very quickly because they're black and they have a sail to catch the sun. When the, when the scoots warm up, the bone warm up, when the bones warm up, the blood warms and you have a warm animal in, in very, very 20 minutes, okay? You may have this couple of hundred pounds alligator and bang, he's ready to go when he turns face on the sun, and the sun comes from this direction, then the sun kind of bounces off, it glares away, and he cools down again. So it's not just an armor, which it is, if an animal bites, if the animal's gonna have a tough time getting through this, but it's actually a radiator system to both absorb heat and blow yep. heat off. Yeah, yeah, so really, really amazing. All right. Wow, that, that's All amazing. Right. There you have it, folks. It's one more. We're going to our last animal. Sorry. And this is one of my most exciting. I never seen before. We're gonna go, and Bill's gonna introduce us to a to a python.